we want to solve the equation 10x equals negative 6 on the interval from 0 to 2 pi radians. The first thing we might notice here is we aren't going to find tangent function values of negative 6 on the unit circle or using reference triangles, so we'll have to use a calculator in order to solve this equation. Also, in order to isolate x in our equation, we'll have to use the inverse tangent or arctangent function. So for a quick review, if we have the function y equals arctangent x, the input or x would be all possible tangent function values, and therefore the domain would be all real numbers, and the output or y would be an angle on the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So to solve the equation tangent x equals negative six, to isolate x, we'd have to take the inverse tangent or arctangent of both sides of the equation. So we'd take the inverse tangent of the left as well as the inverse tangent of the right, which would give us inverse tangent tangent x equals inverse tangent negative six. So the inverse tangent of tangent x simplifies to x, so we have x equals inverse tangent negative six. And now we'll go to the calculator. We first want to verify we are in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted, so we'll go back to the home screen. And now we'll press second tangent for inverse tangent, negative six, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how the calculator is telling us that x is approximately negative 1.4056 radians. So even though this would be a solution to our equation, notice how this angle is not in the given interval. But we can still use this angle to determine the solutions in the given interval. If we were to sketch this angle in the center position, the initial side would be along the positive x-axis here. Because it's negative, we'd rotate clockwise 1.4056 radians. So let's just say the terminal side would be here. This may not be to scale. Now the rotation of this angle is clockwise, but notice that the reference angle would be positive 1.4056 radians. So if we were to sketch a reference triangle, it might look something like this. And because we're looking for angles on the interval from zero to two pi, one angle that would have the same tangent function value of negative six would be this angle here. So one solution for x in the given interval would be two pi radians, or one full revolution, minus the reference angle. So let's say x sub one is approximately equal to two pi minus the reference angle which is a decimal approximation, 1.4056 radians. Let's determine this difference. So two pi minus 1.4056 radians would be approximately 4.8776 radians. But there's still another angle in this interval that has a tangent function value of negative six. Tangent is negative in the fourth quadrant here, because remember tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, and in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative. So this means that tangent would also be negative when the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive, which would be in the second quadrant. Again, in this quadrant, the x coordinate is negative, the y coordinate is positive, and therefore y divided by x would still be negative. So if we sketch the same reference angle in the second quadrant, we can find a second solution to our equation on the given interval. So let's say this ray here forms a reference angle of 1.4056 radians with the x-axis. That means this angle here would also have a tangent function value of negative six. And let's go ahead and sketch the reference triangle for this angle as well, which would look like this.
Well, the measure of this angle would be half a rotation, or pi radians, minus the reference angle of 1.4056 radians. And therefore, our second solution on the given interval would be x sub two is equal to pi radians minus 1.4056 radians. And again, because this angle is an approximation, let's say x sub two is approximately equal to this difference. And now we'll go back to the calculator one more time. We have pi radians minus 1.4056 radians. So the angle in the second quadrant with a tangent function value of negative six would be approximately 1.7360 radians. So these are our two solutions to the given equation on the given interval. To verify this, we could graph the tangent function graphed here in blue on the interval from zero to two pi. And then if we graph the line y equals negative six graphed here in red, notice how we have two points of intersection over this interval. We have the intersection point here and here where this x value would be the solution that we found in the second quadrant and this x value would be the angle that we found in the fourth quadrant. I hope you found this helpful.